Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss a new problem statement which is given an array which can contain positive and negative numbers. We have to find the subarray whose sum is largest. Okay. So we have taken an example of an array. Here you can see, and here the maximum sum is 11. And the subarray of which this maximum sum it is, it is from it is this subarray. So it is starting from 2 to 5. Right? So let's understand the approach to this problem. So if we go about the brute force approach, in this brute force approach, what we can do, we can apply two loops. Okay. So in two loops, we will first select an element. So we select one. And then in next, in uh, the inner loop, we will traverse the whole array. So first subarray we will get is one. Second subarray we will get is one and minus two. Third will be one minus two, six. Then it will be one minus two, six and four. So like that, we will be getting subarrays. We have to sum them up. And whichever will be the maximum will be stored in a variable known as max sum. We can take variable like that. Okay. So this is one of the brute force approach through which you can do this problem. But here the time complexity of this brute force solution is big O of n square. So we'll need to optimize this solution to big O of n. And we can do that very easily and in an efficient manner using an algorithm known as Kikadens algorithm. So we will understand how can we do it. Okay. So let's proceed. Now here Kikadens algorithm, it is very simple. We take a sum and some variable and in initially it is zero. Okay. Now we continue to add the elements into it. So we add one, then minus two, then six like that. Okay. Now whenever the sum is less than zero okay whenever it goes negative so what we do we set its value to zero again why because we don't consider that subarray we discard the subarray so for example the first two one and minus two gives okay i change the color now one and minus two gives the sum as minus one okay so this will have a degrading effect on our whole problem or on, on our maximum sum. We discard this subarray and we start fresh from next element that is from this sixth element six. And from here we put our sum equal to zero again and we continue to do so. So like that we are going to proceed. Okay. Now we will uh, come to our Eclipse edit, uh, editor and we will see how can we code this solution. So first is we create a method which will return a integer array. Why integer array? I will tell you just now. Wait. So largest sum sub array. This will be our method. Okay. Now we create a result array array which will be a constant of constant space so we will have three element okay now this sub uh, resultant array will contain three things what will be the three things starting index end index and max sum max sum of the sub array okay of the sub array. Right? Great. So, so, this is why we will be uh, returning all the results that we require. Now, we initialize some variables like maximum sum equal to integer dot min value. Now, this min value is integer dot min value is basically equivalent to the minus infinity. Okay, and then we have a current sum which will be zero. We have a start 
and we have and okay now we will have a for loop so int i equal to 0 i less than a dot length i plus plus <coughs> okay now what we will do is current sum plus equal to a of i so it will uh, store the we will just be doing uh, adding all the elements of the array now first we will do is we will check if current sum is greater than max sum so if current sum is greater than max sum what we will do is we will assign max sum as current sum that's simple and we will uh, assign and equal to i why and equal to i because whenever we are getting the maximum sum a new maximum sum that means at least up to that particular index we we are sub array is there if we get a, another maximum sum or a bigger number than that then we will update that also right that's why we put n equal to i second condition will be if current sum is less than zero which means that if it is uh, negative then we will do current sum equal to zero we will uh, reassign the current sum equal to zero okay and we will update start now how start will be updated the start denotes the starting index of the sub array so it must be either less than the end index uh, or should be equal to the end index in case if the variable is only uh, or the uh, there is only one number that is the maximum okay so in that case we have to apply the condition that start less than end and ternary operator in case start is less than end we will say start no we will say i plus 1 mod a dot length or we will assign the previous start now why i plus 1 mod a dot length i dot plus 1 because for the current index when we are adding into the current sum we are getting the current sum in negative so we will be starting from next index completely fresh with current sum equal to 0 okay that's why current i plus 1 but in case we don't face a index out of bound exception we are doing mod a dot length so that we get the exact index okay so this is the logic behind the cadence algorithm okay this is the only core logic rest we have to just handle one more uh corner case that is if start is less uh, sorry if start is greater than end then start equal to end now why this case will come or why this case can come so this is start, uh, this can come when we have already found a the our maximum sum already so we have assigned and but the start but because we are getting current sum will traverse through the whole array now in that process if it if it get to negative then our start will be updated and we don't want to update them so in that case we will be assigning it okay now res G, uh, on the first L index of res we will assign as start on the second one will be assign end and on the third we will be assign as max sum okay and then we will return the res now let's check for various subtest cases so uh, let's check for the our own uh, this index this one only so let's copy this and paste it here so we do arrays 
dot two string and we pass and we pass actually or we pass wrong array is dot two string and largest and we pass a to it okay largest now when we run this we are getting okay there is a problem or we have done anything wrong i think we should put equal to here okay basically we have to put an equal to also because if uh, a start is equal to end also then then also we can do this same because at the end by this condition it will be equivalent to this okay now i make everything negative so let's start for all negative case okay so now we are testing for all negative case oh sorry so we get 0 0 minus 1 why because when all are negative then we the largest sum will be the least negative integer that is minus 1 of because minus 1 is greater than anything that is present in the array suppose this minus 1 comes in middle so let's test it out also so 4 4 minus 1 so 0 1 2 3 and this is present at 4 so start and end is here only and in case if all are positive suppose all are positive okay all is positive in this case we are getting 0 to 7 38 right because we are getting now the whole array is a sub array perfect so we have see that all for all the test cases this is working fine so this is uh, known as the cadence algorithm okay i write the it for you you can and this is also asked in amazon a uh, interview question also amazon interview question okay so this is one of the most important question from if you are preparing for product based companies so yes this is all about uh, cadence algorithm and there are various variations of it also that come but all the cases are covered in this whole logic okay so for this video that's all and see you later bye bye